I've got my soul. I'm only with me. Good to be back. Can I look content? Can I look content, the Yeah, can I look content? And then uh, content provider on the other side, Victor, the principal, the one in our joints. As it is on a Monday, the three of us, the three wise men. But hey, we're not always so wise. Mm-hmm. Vic. We're good? Let me tell you guys about today, right? Yeah. We're going to be speaking a little bit about Kylian Mbappe. Because I think no player playing now or I've ever seen play football before. Nobody I've ever seen kick a ball. And I will admit, Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the best I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Messi, you know, contentiously, the best most I've ever seen. Diego Maradona, Pele, uh, Ronaldo the original. Even those that like a bit of trickery that can go with Ronaldinho, Thierry Andri, Zinedine Zidane. You can mention them. You say, yo, you can mention the players that you think are the best in the world. We've seen contracts being offered, but no players will ever make as much money as the players in this era are making now. Yeah. And what has been tabled and offered to Kylian Mbappe at the moment by the powers that be in Saudi Arabia is ridiculous even for this era. There's no chance he take. He's he's 22, 23. He should be playing in Europe. I mean, it's crazy. It money. is ridiculous crazy beyond money. anything. 300 million being offered to PSG, which PSG have said, we'll accept this money. It's okay. We will take it because if we don't take it, he leaves he next year for free, for free and yeah. we don't want that. Real Madrid did very good business here. They went and said, Kylian, stay there till 2024. We'll you will you come to free. us for free. That's a deal that works, which means then you can determine however much you want to get paid for salary because we didn't buy you. Yeah. So now PSG is saying, we want him out. They want to sell high. Very few teams can afford to buy Kylian Mbappe. Yeah. Come the guys in Saudi Arabia that say to him, okay, cool, we'll buy you for 300 million, which is on its own insane. But then we will go on to give you 700 million yeah. euros. <laughs> 700 million euros for a year. This is what I would do if I was Kylian Mbappe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'd sign for one year. <laughs> it's one year. Yeah, I'd sign for one year, make the money, and then go back to real. This is going to be the Madrid, most yeah. any one person has ever gotten paid. I'm talking about salary here. Yeah. I'm not talking about people that own businesses and companies that go on to make that money. 700 million Jeez. in a year. And he's 20, 22. And a season is not even a year. Yeah, it's nine months. 700 million. For nine months. For a 22 year old, for nine months. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So we'll touch on that. If you want to get in on that conversation, please do go on and let's have that conversation. Formula One, the Hungary Formula One, the Hungarian uh, Grand Prix there, Verstappen taking that one, Norris, Perez, Hamilton coming in in fourth. Um, There's a lot to talk about as far as that is concerned. Um, And for those that are saying, "Ah, it's so boring now, you know exactly what's going to happen, Verstappen, it's unfair. You weren't saying that when Hamilton, your favorite, was winning. Back to back to back to back. So let's have those conversations. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Formula One. The off-season games, Sundowns have been playing, Orlando Pirates have been playing. Um, in the case that in the Royal AM, Amazulu were playing. We saw Kaiser Chiefs. I think that's the one most people want to talk about because that was the one that was televised. Yeah. So a lot of people were able to we're see able that to game see there. It, yeah. So we can talk about Kaiser Chiefs as well. What did you make of Kaiser Chiefs um, against young Africans there? Uh, what did you think of that performance? Uh, so people complaining about uh, you know maybe needing something up front. Maybe Nadine was a little bit right about the more players that need to be signed to Kaiser Chiefs up front you were able to see some of your new signings so we can get in on that but the one thing that I want us to go to town with is Banyana Banyana and the Women's World Cup mm-hmm. Banyana Banyana playing their first game they had it in them 1-0 at some point 1-1 and then it goes down to 2-1 I saw Andy Lamini uh, trending for that one there I'm going to give you the stats as far as Andy Lamini is concerned we'll break it down so all of those that are all of a sudden uh, watching uh, the Hollywood Bates Super League because I, I wasn't <coughs> aware there were so many of you that are watching that league <laughs> Judge, judging by the comments and the meltdowns some of the people on, on, on Twitter's fear do not watch women's football in, in, in South Africa. They so we'll do break not. it down. Yeah. We'll break it down. We'll talk about Andil Damini. Um, we'll talk about uh, uh, Banyana Banyana. We'll talk about who Sweden are in the larger scape, a scope of women's football. So we'll get into that there. And then he, he, here's what my biggest thing was today. For the first time today, mm-hmm. for the first time today, guys, I sat in my car after having left my home watching television, the same thing the whole day. I got in my car and I said, I need to make peace and let go of the hatred, let go of the ugliness that's within me for whatever could have happened to Senzo Mayo. Because it, it moved from being our story to being a new story, mm-hmm. rightfully so. Mm-hmm. It moved from us. So we haven't been covering this. And you know, when there's something big, then we'll get into it. But after watching, uh, what is it, almost two weeks now of... Uh, uh, 
uh, Zandile Kumalo, who's been on the stand at yeah. the moment and watching all of that play out, I think I'd begun to make peace with the fact that I'll never know. Who and I must Zendo? just, yeah, I must just move on. Yeah. It's 10 years next year. Next year, October. Yeah. It's 10 years, guys. Yeah. This was 2014. I didn't even realize that till today. It's but crazy. I was like, because I, it's almost 10 years, Tavik. Yeah, definitely need closer. Eh? I think I think we like I'm gonna I'm gonna do myself a favor and just leave it alone now. Yeah, I'm moving on. I mean, <clears throat> we've we've gone from now hearing that uh, Zandile couldn't tell the you know the people who entered the house because it was during COVID. I mean, uh, uh, that that's you know at that stage that's when I decided I'll never know who killed our captain. Yeah, no, uh, I think I and for all of you that have been following and we've been saying, guys, we're waiting for moments where we can put this on and talk about it. But I don't know what is yeah. there to talk about even no. as far as us coming on air here uh, that wasn't on the documentary. That's not in the newspapers every day. What could we possibly talk about except perhaps when we do speak about uh, yeah. let's, let's talk about the moments that we remember. It's no. 18 <coughs> after the hour six. There's a lot to talk about on today's show and I can't wait for you to get on and uh, give us a call as well. It's 86 0 That's the number you can call us on. I'll give you the WhatsApp call in just a bit as well. Let's take a break. When we come back on the other hand, Mazula Mulefe, what's the big story that you've got? The Bafana Bafana, or rather Safa, Chief Medical Officer, gives us an update on uh, the Richards Bay death. You remember their club captains, Pamandlam Tolo? Oh, yeah. There's an update there. We've got a player who was meant to close to signing for Kaiser Chiefs, but now he's gone to a Durban club. Hmm. Tavik? Uh, I have a question, Ma'a. Uh -huh. If a player scores a goal, yeah. and then he gets a yellow card for removing his T-shirt. He or she gets a yellow card, okay. Uh, she gets a yellow card, yeah. and then the goal is disallowed. What about the yellow card? We'll tell you more. Yeah? Content. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's take a break. <laughs> it's 21 after the hour 6 on the Mighty Metro FM. Welcome to it. It's Sports Not Amplified with Andy. I am Andy Lengube. It's a three wise man on a Monday. Victor Lungwan, a former PSL referee, former FIFA referee, former CAF referee, oh. um, is in the building. We've got uh, Mazola. So many badges. I was about to say, I've got Mazola as well. Current. <laughs> current journalist of the year football journalist of the year here Thank and you. of course uh the show i must say it current best show <laughs> so it's okay it's okay we, we're matching up with him hey banyana banyana over the weekend um uh are playing their first game in the world cup i think perhaps let's start with that there these are the goals from that match <laughs> All right, these are the goals. 2-1 is how it ended. Uh, that, that um, I mean, we were willing to take, and I said this from before even, and I'm pretty sure Desiree and the team as well, when they looked at their group, they thought to themselves, Italy we can take. Argentina, we should take three points from there. A point from Sweden would be a bonus. Yeah. And at some we point, close. I even I was like, okay, at least we've got it. So close, yet Very so close. far for Banyana Banyana. What did you think of the match? I mean, I, at, at the in the beginning, I thought the tactics, maybe it's, um, you know, 7-1-2 or something like that. But I understood. I mean, Sweden are ranked third in the world. And we are still playing, we are semi-professional from a Hollywood Bets uh, League point of view. So I thought if we, I mean, when we scored first, I thought this would be a remarkable result to get mm. three points from title favorites because Sweden, Sweden are among They're the They're one of the favorites yeah, one at, of the the favorites World favorites at the yeah. World Cup. Uh, and then when, they, when we scored an own goal and I thought, okay, we'll take a point and then we can bank on the other two games to at least uh, maybe get, even get four points there to go through. So overall, not a bad, bad performance. We can grow from that, but obviously bitter pill to swallow to lose it at the end like that because, you know, Rokadinawanyana just to grow taller because did you see the sweet The crosses coming Giants. in, the, 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 the free kicks, um, the, the corner kicks, all of those yeah. we're struggling with. Yeah, we were, we were struggling and Coach Desiree had been prepared for that. And I thought I thought Kaylin Swart was, was, was magnificent on the day. Had it not been for her... Probably we're talking uh, a Japan Zambia scoreline here. Got it. We don't have the tall defenders. No, eventually we don't have no. tall players. We don't have tall players. Unoko, got, you know, as right. tall as Noko is, and we did, we, we looked at it earlier in yeah, the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Noko is one of our tallest players. She's not tall. Yeah, because Andy Ledamini, for instance, is yeah. taller. Kaylin Swart is taller than Noko. Yeah, as tall as what Noko Matlo is. Yeah, she's 
amongst the shortest Swedes. Yeah. So when you look at the Sweden players, yeah. Noko is as tall as the shortest players. Yeah. You know, uh, after scoring that first goal, I mean, you pack a buzz, double deck. I could see you could lama corner kick in nine. Yeah, but I, I, I can understand why Coach Desiree didn't pack the bus. Because with, 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 with Jermaine, uh, with Linda, with, uh, with Tembi Speed, we looked like on the counter we could easily catch them and, and get a, a goal or two. But, uh, you know, on set pieces we were not able to, 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 to capitalize. But let's see. I mean, I watched the game earlier between uh, Italy and Argentina. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think we, we could get something out of it. We can definitely take both. But let's talk about the big thing then. Andile was uh, trending, of course. Andile ah. uh, Lamini was uh, uh, South Africa's best uh, goalkeeper and number one for a very long time. She was uh, Africa's best as well yeah. when it came to the Women's uh, Africa Cup of Nations here at home with Sundown. Sundowns were hardly conceding last season. Hardly conceding goals. Um, she did have an issue, of course, uh, just post COVID, when uh, she she had a heart issue that she yeah. had to be seen to. She did recover from that. We haven't seen a lot of her since then. Kaylin Swart got a lot of flack in goals. Mm-hmm. Andy Lidlamini was called for by many South Africans to say, "Where is the best goalkeeper in Africa?" Mazola, talk to me about that. Look, I think this showed that a lot of people, especially from a South African point of view. Do not watch the local women's league. Because Andile and Kaylin both play in the Hollywood Bet Super League. Exactly. Yeah. And kaylin has been in, in magnificent uh, form for, for, for JBW. She's been the number one goalkeeper. Yes, she was not the number one goalkeeper at the WAFCON last year. And a lot of the South Africans probably, that's the last time, the last time that they kind of watched uh, Banyana Banyana in action or the players who play in the, in the Super League in action in Morocco when they won the, the championship, the, the, the continental competition. But the reality is... Andile has hardly played for Sundowns in I'll the give it to you, actually. season. Sundowns this season have played 18 games, right? Yeah. Of those 18 games, Andile's only played five of those 18 games. She's lost her place as number, number one keeper. She has lost her place. She played in the victory against Richmond on the 5th of February. On the 26th, she played in the victory against First Touch. Uh, they won against Copper Belt in March again. So all her games were February, one game, two games rather, March two games and the last time she played for sundowns was on the 15th of april in fact and uh, andile was concerned that she might not make the banana she was concerned because she wasn't club. playing at sundowns yeah so the last time she played this year she's played five games and the last one was in april yeah that's the last time andile lamini uh played and she was worried that she might not make the national team as well Min- meanwhile uh kaylin has been uh, getting player of the match uh, for her club side she's been keeping clean sheets helping them push sundowns and and, and uwc for the league title this season and she deser- deservedly so um <clears throat> should be the number one goalkeeper based on current form and if you look at her experience as well because obviously both of them were also at the 2019 uh, uh world cup a couple of years ago Maramazola, Mau Pega e height yaga and Dilinaka Swart Uvanu Mut. And it is taller by point two. Oh. Yeah, so that's 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 a non starter. <laughs> it's a non starter. <laughs> she is taller by literally my hair. Yeah. She is taller by literally my that's hair. Non-starter. Like my hair length. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And also let's look at Kaylin Swart. Yeah. How many crosses were put into the box? Yeah. I was seven zero. How bad was she? Was she bad? I mean, I can give you one instance, and even that, I can actually defend her a little bit. Um, there's an instance where she... What is that? Give me a call. Give me a studio in the middle of such hot conversation. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a point just after the 80th minute when she slipped. Yeah. You know, it was rainy conditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't change boots. None of the players changed boots yeah, for yeah, different yeah, weather. Yeah. She went for one of the crosses and she slipped. And, and she luckily, slipped. you mm-hmm. know, that yeah. went a bit wide. Yeah. Hey, we survived that one. We survived that, that one. That's why I'm saying. So tell me what it yeah. is that we're complaining about as far as the goalkeeping department yeah. is concerned. No, that's why I'm saying if it wasn't for her, we're talking uh, Japan, uh, uh, Zambia scoreline. We, we talk, we're talking Germany, Morocco scorelines here because she she was on form. You I know? mean, Andy Le for the national team, three matches in 2023. Um, I can count uh, three matches again in 2022. Um, actually, no, I'm lying. In 2022, it's two because remember, she didn't start against Australia and wasn't on the bench in that 4 1 loss. She didn't start in that game when we were there. We were in, uh, in Durban yeah, when yeah, they I played Brazil. Brazil. The, the, oh, the, the, second, the heavy the loss, sec- the second yeah, yeah. one. She played the first one. She didn't play the second one. Yeah. So, I- in the last two years, I can count in one hand the amount of games she's played for Banyana Banyana since WAFCON. Mm-hmm. So, let's have that conversation because seemingly 
There's a lot of uh, women's football experts now. So <laughs> let, let, let's have a conversation about it. Throw it to us uh, with the very little knowledge that we have as well because we can't be experts of it as well. We don't say we are. Hey, mm. we're always not so how wise. Many, how many players in that Swedish team play for top European clubs? 2-1, it's a loss. And we can't say a big loss, a little It's a yeah, loss. Yeah. Banyana Banyana lost three points there. And we take nothing away from that. But this is the number three nation in the world. Title favorites for the world. You know what I mean? It's mm. the equivalent to when Bafana Bafana were playing France. It's yeah. the equivalent yeah. to us playing a Brazil, a Spain. It's yeah. that equivalent in 100%. men's football. Yeah. That's how you can look at it. Hey, hey, hey. It's uh, 29 <laughs> after the hour six. Let's uh, put that one aside. I, I see your calls and I know you want to get involved with this one. Let's give you all the news uh, uh, with Mazola. Then we'll get into it and take are your calls gonna, on Are it. we going to play Desiree's uh, reaction? Let's go for it. Do you have reactions? There should be a reaction from... Uh, Let's go to it. This is uh, Deja Ellis, the coach of Banyana Banyana, reacting after the match. We had a game plan and I thought um, it worked throughout. I thought we were defensively very sound. We knew that um, there were going to be a challenge at set pieces and I thought we handled that really well. Um, our transitions could have been better. Our decisions in the final third, if that was better, we'd be speaking a different result now. Uh, we've been working on all of those things and... As the game went on, we tried to effect changes to make sure that we that we stand st- stand fast. Um, unfortunately, we conceded at a moment we were in complete control, and that put us back a bit. And to concede right at the end, um, I think it was a bit cruel. But uh, that is football. Well, there it is. Uh, that is uh, the coach there, Deja Ellis. I thought she would have done the, the Nigerian thing when they were playing Canada. Another one of the favorites there, seventh in the world at Canada. Nigeria sat back and absorbed them for that entire time and got a point, a point from yeah. that there. But they were very brave in going for it there. Another story which I think is crucial. Uh, we, we, we dealt with some serious cases of uh, cardiac arrest in, in, in the PSL, especially mm. last season. We had Richards Bay club captain Spamandla Mdolo uh, collapsing and dying uh, around March uh, uh, this year. And um, hmm. I, I had an interview with the SAFA chief medical officer, officer uh, Dr. Tulan Nguenya. Obviously, as the mother body, you'd think he oversees the medical uh, fraternity. Yeah. And, and I asked him, have you gotten in touch with Richards Bay uh, to get a full report as to what happened uh, to Mtolo? And this is what he had to say. This information needed to have been shared so that we can really try and, and assist where, where possible to, to, to raise the importance of, of, of having um, the right people on the field. Because honestly, we can't, at this day and age, we can't have young fit athletes dying on the field of play dying do, dying while doing what they love we can't especially when we have such expertise we have the people and the personnel that can actually help in dealing with that we can't have that i did reach out to richards bay uh, unfortunately we to date, we still haven't received the report in terms of what really transpired and what was the cause of of death so i do not have information and where i am sitting i just know just from uh, what i saw in the media space that there was a collapse and an athlete died uh, of which is very very unfortunate i think our league can do better i think the clubs can do better mm-hmm. i also asked the doctor mm-hmm. about george maluleka remember on the show here andile around the same time maybe a month or so after mtolo's death uh, george collapsed for the second time mm. uh, during a match between amazulu and uh, swallows fc at the time at moses mabira stadium so i asked the doctor has he also reached out to amazulu to ask uh, with regards to george maluleka's health well i spoke to the doctor several times with amazulu so with with george uh, george is a a, a different uh, matter um, and uh, fortunately, we got the information. It came, and I discussed several and uh, and plans also in in if if to to say what investigations needs to be done further so that we avoid uh, this happening. That is why even today, Josh is still playing, hasn't been declared um, unfit to play because the condition is manageable. And and for me, yeah. this is important because 
I know how our league is with this. I remember Papi Fati, he was yeah. a, a Vets player. Yes. And when it was found out that he had a heart condition like that, no team in the PSL would sign yeah, him for yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And I remember he ended up going to other leagues that didn't mind signing players like that. And, and he collapsed and, and died. He collapsed and died. Yeah. He collapsed and he, he, he passed on mm-hmm. on the field of play. And that's, that's not some sort of heroic thing where people are like, you know, you died with your boots on. No. no. Mm-hmm. Nobody should have to die doing something like that. Yeah. And the, the, the most famous case, perhaps, is that of Christian Eriksen again. Mm-hmm. Because we were all watching the Euros, I think it was, yeah, 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 yeah. when that happened. And, you know, he's lived to tell the tale now. And I think he's, he's got a, yeah, he's got a, a, heart, a monitor, heart monitor and all sorts of things. And, and he plays for one of the biggest clubs in the world. You know what I mean? I think you, if you watch the, 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 the Women's World Cup, you're going to see, um, I think it was during that Canada game as well, they're wearing something, uh, there was a, a player who was wearing something around her neck that yeah. looked like some sort of sci-fi gadget. I think it's called a Q code, mm. which uh, is going to, to, to monitor things like uh, brain hemorrhage and things like that. Yeah. You're going to start seeing things like that in football. And I think it, it, we can't turn a blind eye to things like this when they're happening in our league. We're supposed to, by now, haven't gotten all the information that's transferred to all the teams, to all the players. Absolutely. The doc talks about uh, having a qualified sports phys- phys- physician. You might be a, a GP uh, and be employed by a club on a part-time basis or whatever the case may be, but the reality is you need someone who is up-to-date uh, with their medicos who are up-to-date with the trends in the world, especially from a sport uh, point of view. You can't have a tw- 29-year-old collapse in training and never wake up. I mean, you can't yeah. have a situation like that in the league. Very, very, very sad that it's 6.35, of course, uh, here on the Mighty Metro FM. Mazola Mulefe at Super Journal. Victor um, is also here with us. We call him the principal, Mr. Lungwani, a former referee in the PSL. We're talking all things from the weekend, not just football. They might be here to answer those questions. That's because I couldn't get Hamilton in studio <laughs> as far as the Formula One is concerned. My budget does not allow. Um, we can talk as well, of course. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know about you. Uh, but, you know, I, I've made peace with certain things in my life. And the Sense of Me Evil one is just another one of those. Banyana Banyana were a big one over the weekend. Kylian Mbappe, 700 million euros. I thought I was going to translate that into rand so I can say it to you. Then I realized mm. it's just stupid. It runs into the trillions. <laughs> it's going to be at least a trillion. I know that. It's, it's crazy it's, money. It's over billions. Let's now. leave it at that. It's crazy it, money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, That's yeah. all you and I need to know um, uh, to sign for a Saudi team from PSG before going to Real Madrid in 2024. Those are all the things that we can talk about. But you've got one more, yeah? I've got one more. Let me uh, parting short and make it uh, two in one, give you a two in one special. Uh, Rowan Human. Mm. Uh, was with the Bafana Bafana squad in the Kosafa Cup at Maritzburg. They've got, since gotten relegated, but he's leaving Maritzburg. He was close to going to Naturena, but Amazulu have come through and they've now signed him. It's only a matter of days before Usutu uh, confirm uh, that signing over there. And another one that's that bubbling under, Pule Modi's former agent. He is complaining that Pule signed his chief's contract without him. So he wants his procurement fee. So he's gotten a union involved. He wants to see the contract. And here's the kicker here. Uh, Their management contract was expiring on the 2nd of July. Uh, Pule's contract is effective 1st of July. So he wants, even if if it's that, that, that one day, he wants to be paid for that one day for his procurement fee. Yeah. Uh, but let's see if it happens. I spoke to Pule. He was out in uh, uh, Tanzania with Kaiser Chiefs just to give him a right of reply. He says, no, bring it on. I'm waiting because Naki signed a contract. After. Who's the agent? The agent is Mr. Solomon Siobe. He's an attorney. He's out in uh, in the free state. So are the Chiefs was you under my contract, so yes. therefore, you went behind my back and signed a contract. With but I mean, Kaiser if his Chiefs. contract is valid with the with the, with the agent, hey, it's, it's valid by one day at least. <laughs> <laughs> one day at least. I think it's also a, a lesson for, for players to, to know the rules. Obviously, we can at a later time, we can unpack the rules with regards to uh, agents and, and uh, player regulations, especially because CAS has uh, reaffirmed FIFA's decision in terms of the regulations of the agent. So if you want to check it out, you can check the FIFA website for that and the CAS uh, sort of uh, ruling on that. But it's it's an interesting case to see whether who wins here, Pule or Mr. Siobe. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back on the other side, Victor gives us his tidbits. And then we take your calls. The number to dial is 086-000-2160. Your voice notes have been coming in. Uh, I think we're going to go there a little bit earlier today because I see there's so many of you that want to get involved in these conversations we're having today. It's 60 
PSG have said, Mbappe, it's fine. No one is bigger than the club. You can go. Sweden beating Banyana Banyana. A lot of you crying about Andy Ledamine. We broke it down for you. We gave you the stats there. Formula One was this weekend as well. Red Bull taking it once again with McLaren uh, coming second and finishing the podium was uh, Perez of Red Bull as well with Hamilton coming in fourth there. So those are all the stories. You tell us where you'd like to go and we'll take this conversation wherever it is that you want to take it. It's exactly 1839 on the Mighty Metro. Welcome to it. Hey, Malcolm, today. Ah, uh, today. Hey, phone, no. He's not making sure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's 18.41 in the Mighty Metro FM. It's Sports that Amplified with Andy. I am Andy Lengube. Victor Tlingwane joins us as a third of the three not always so wise men. Uh, we're giving him a, a little bit of something because off-season, there's not a lot of games and he hasn't had content really. Yeah, but about. he wants to be on radio and he's part of the team. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Victor, what have you conjured up? Rules <laughs> are rules. Uh, we're coming with rules. Um, Educate ask, us, principal. We We're ask in your a question as to if my ask score a goal, he goes and celebrate, remove his T-shirt. What does the law says? The law says he will be yellow carded for removal of the T-shirt. Now a goal uh, is reviewed. What well, as a goal? Yellow card, you know, it's a swang. So we are saying the rule says that yellow card ma I will stand. You'll go home with that yellow card. Ah, it's not fair. <laughs> the goal did not stand. Why is the yellow card standing? The yellow card is standing for removal of the t-shirt because you are not allowed to remove that t-shirt. So all we're saying is uh, when you score a goal, uh, you remove your t-shirt. is not allowed by law. Why is the t-shirt not allowed to be removed, Tavik? Uh, but you know, because some people advertise. Remember when some write something here? Yes. So then, why don't you yellow card those ones that have written something? If you write something, uh, we'll yellow card you. Uh, we'll even uh, send a report to the league to but say. But if I've got nothing under me, why? Why do I still get a yellow card? I'm going to. I'm not nothing. Yes, <laughs> but I don't get lento. So a six pack is not allowed. So uh, FIFA it don't remove your T-shirt. So that's it. So no, it, but that rule needs to be revisited. Uh, and then you must write to IFAB to say because it's removal of T-shirt, climbing of the, the second fans, uh, covering your shirt. Let me, let me ask head. you something. At yeah. the end of the match, yeah. if the match is over 90 minutes, yeah. and I swear, and I'm swearing at everyone, the referee is hearing my swearing, yeah. do I get a card? Yes, a red for swearing. At the end of the match, at the end of the if match, I hit someone, uh-huh. do I get a card? Yes. At the end of the match, if I take my shirt off, do I get a card? No. Because you, you you have not scored a goal. No, so no, no. If I take my shirt off <laughs> you, you, at the end of the match, yeah. score, it's the end of the match. I yeah. didn't score. I take my shirt off in yeah. the same way as the other two. Yeah. Do I get a card? If you remove your shirt after the final whistle, you won't get a card. So please. removing a shirt in itself is not an offense. You know, when you score a goal, the cameras go to you. That's when they, they come after you and say, ah, uh-uh. the cameras can still come ah, to me at the end of the game. Rude. Maybe I'm the man of the match ah, or player of the match rude. and I remove my shirt. And we're clarifying because people have got those yellow cards. So we're just saying if you get it and the goal is uh, it's disallowed by VR, that yellow card still go home with you. Apart from that, Ma- uh, let's move to the next one. The next one, it's a VR in the World Cup. Uh, very nice. We see uh, as, uh, referees announcing their decision. I saw the first game, the Japanese referee saying uh, 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 VR checks, uh, referee decision, pena. So that was nice to hear because it's new in the World Cup, uh, especially women, because in that under 20 years, referees were announcing. I wonder if we can bring someone who speaks superior. You know, uh, after VR check, referee, a penalty. Because that's about a river, referee. <laughs> the other one we saw in the World Cup, it's uh, the the additional time added. Remember, we talk of the, the new amendments where we say goal celebration that time should be added. Uh, review checks that time should be added. The first match, uh, New Zealand Norway, we saw nine minutes added. Bafana Bafana Banyana Banyana, it was six minutes added in the second half. So, so those like the times, Qatar World Cup, like the Qatar World but Cup. So isn't it, isn't it that what we see at the World at Cup? Point, yeah. yeah, isn't it what we see at the World Cup then becomes norm throughout the leagues, right? But we didn't see that after the the the, the 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 Qatar World Cup. We didn't see eight, nine, ten minutes in the leagues. Yeah, because they are. We're the seeing it again so now. It didn't make World sense. Cup. Thirteen minutes. Referees are in the workshop now, uh, as we speak. The second group started uh, today, so they are being informed that they need to enforce this rule. Uh, although there's another rule, Andre, that I see referees not enforcing it. Remember the, when goalkeeper held the ball for more than six seconds. Uh, that that's that should be punished by an indirect free kick. But yeah, that, that's hardly being enforced. I, I punish keepers have held the, the ball, ball for, for a very for long longer. time. Yeah. I don't understand, but I did it in the PSL twice for that matter, where I punished a goalkeeper for. Who did you punish? 
goalkeeper is still in boys. But it's Sage Stevens. Oh, I remember Why Bamba now for a long time, the goalkeeper uh, Barki Mang, this one, Royal AM. But what's the rule? The rule is how many? Six seconds. Six, Six seconds. seconds yes. So do you count, as soon as the, 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 do you guys count in your head? One. Yes. Two. Yes. Three. So that means yes. the referees aren't counting. So the refuse yeah. are not counting. So, so that's one road where we are found the workshop where we are found wanting <laughs> uh, in terms of the loss of the game. Can, I tell, the you, can there. I tell you where else you, where else you are found wanting? Yeah, here on Mondays <laughs> <laughs> when you must come with content. And you come so with so with no, card, no, no, don't, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, principal. We are ten days away from the Premier Soccer League. Ten kickoff. days so to the you, kickoff. You, you will have some content. <laughs> so but now, Friday is going to be an exciting <laughs> Friday. Of course, the next two Fridays uh, there's going to be a different and a change in our Friday line. Up, but I'll tell you that towards the end of the week. It's 18.46. Let's go to your voice notes. Uh, good evening, Ma'a. I did not know how to do it. I did weekend. Uh, it's sundowns. It's been uh, two friendly matches this uh, weekend. Uh, Friday, it's a little bit of a drug. Sunday, it's a little bit of a drug. 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 It's a little bit Eh, ibanyana banyana eh, into ibetileyo ibetu za long poles iska cool ukuba ibanyana banyana bi kuzetre chekla pola yayo ibeke pansi poli li pase otherwise nge ike ike ikuwa zile u ibeta ala team kage ibe zi mistake jes nini eh, ni kota netemba winners game ba, baza wuza na yu 3 points dango maa these guys bako saudi ba they can buy all the biggest names doesn't matter their league is still a small league. Fellamo. One day, it's out of our status. A league. <laughs> status a league. league. <laughs> That's because the power of the man. Thank you. Uh, good evening, King Andile and hey. gentlemen in the studio. Is King here at the last Fante? For okay. me, I want to comment on the issue of Wanyana Wanyana. Mm. I, well, I watched the game fully. I think there's nothing much that we should complain about. Our girls did very well, honestly. Mm. I think the only thing that we should do now is to give them a courage. We still have two more games to play mm. so that we could be second or qualify for the next stages. They will do us proud, trust me. Yeah, Andile, human like a same light tips loti. Andile, uh it's a little banana, yeah, get an what is cool in tossing ayaz in jobasi bogi super pet is a colum and jazz yaz. Sort of lale minung lalele and so long or good bigger thing gunugumato. Who commit a nombana elea central pairing it's a little cool uh no ramale put a little foot taxi on cold Leana Mazola by niggas leanto bazana nya leanto bazana se sutina si on goal leana just look ameting u ule ndu ramale putu lege ugu iklerisha eh ugluzu umakhaya na gugu kushaye lugluzi predwina pati si tani lega cool i think to our next game eh so tlalaga ngon appreciate the honesty on that one there thank you so much i think it's time uh no no, no scott we take the calls at 50 malcolm wang shabantu but to my lama voice hey malcolm kajeni so sure so sure and you leave and the tantrum wani namazo lands in the wall of all nanza i'm so disappointed kabanyana banyana come 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 he considered a lot of free kicks, the corner kicks. Uh, then why he took all these short players, come around, mm. yeah, defensive area, Nandile. I'm so disappointed. I hope uh, Argentina will upgrade there and there, defensive, left back, Konova Muna, Nandile. Good show, Nandile. My name is Nandile. Thank you, boy. Excellent, Nandile. You know what, man? In um, 2010, Spain won the World Cup. Mm. But their first match they lost against against Switzerland, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, even this previous World Cup, Argentina, I think they lost their first game, but they they won they won the tournament. So we as Bayana Bayana we lost our first game. Hey, I'm not saying anything, eh? But <laughs> I'm not going. Sure. Hey, listen, uh, you know very well that. Uh, 
when we come here, whether be it uh, Safa, be it whatever, we say it as it is, but there was a very unfortunate tweet that went viral that was spread on, on, on Twitter about how Andy Lamini was part of the divisive uh, 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 yeah. uh, players that uh, stood up against Safa. Therefore, Dr. Denny Jadan and Deja Ellis, the coach, uh, conspired to sit her on the bench. If that was the case, I can tell you now that that team, and I was there. Yeah. I was with the girls. I was speaking to them every day during that time when they were fighting their battle. Yeah. If you say that those that were leading the team are the ones that they're conspiring against, 60% of the team that played would not have played Absolutely. On, sun, on, 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 Sunday on Sunday morning. And none of the girls that are at the World Cup would be there because they did that thing as a team. And fighting for uh, bonuses, what they believe is theirs, is not a, is, is a one-person no. show. There's absolutely no chance. And who are behind these faceless no. accounts? Guys, uh, be careful. If you don't know the face behind the account, if people are just tweeting Justin J, uh, it's always going to be a problem because yeah, that was very divisive, yeah, even they, for the girls that can. They just tweet what they hear. It's, it's not right. I can tell you now that Dr. Denis Jordan and, uh, and uh, um, the coach did not conspire. Mm. They did not do that. No, that, that, mm. that is far-fetched. I that is very far-fetched. Okay, I let's take some of your calls. Yes, David? I can also confirm that uh, that uh, the captain was the one speaking. Ayanda was not even speaking in the meeting, so that's not true. Ayanda Gema. Yeah, Ish. not that goalkeeper. Amanda. Content. Ish. Amanda Gema. Ah, yeah, not that goalkeeper, man. Gema. No, yeah. can we give the guy a break for can the next two weeks? Lamin. What is important or no, it's not true. Let's go to line one. Jimmy. Jimmy is out there. Uh, go back out, Jimmy. Oh, terribly sorry, we've lost Jimmy there. Uh, the next one, I think, Gilisibe, come on, Gilisibe, Gilisibe. No, get Jimmy, Jimmy. Line two, who's it? Mandla, Mandla's out in Woodbank. Hey, evening, Baba, how are you? Hey, Mandla, so, Mandla, 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 is the new producer, man. I know, man. Talk to me, Mandla. We all make mistakes. No, for sure, talk to me. Yeah, the, the reason of my call is because of the lack of content. <laughs> no, Manza, sim pencho next week. Yeah, no, Manza, Manza, I think this guy should sit on the bench for the next 10 days. Manza, what are you saying about it? Look, bro, uh, the last time I gave you an assignment, and unfortunately it wasn't on the... On on the show on that Monday. Mm, what's the assignment? Okay, Maybe he'll bring it. I asked us about a VAR, mm. particularly uh, on a game near Sundowns uh, versus the, the last game, the final game that we played against uh, the Egyptian team. Prior to considering the second goal, which uh, defeated Sundowns or made Sundowns to lose the trophy, mm. there was an incident which uh, uh, necessitated the, the free kick. Yeah. And from the free kick, uh, they take the free kick to the box. Unfortunately, we all know what happened. Yeah. It ended up being headed in by a sundown player. Mm. Okay. But then my question on that particular weekend, the following weekend, I said, what is the purpose of AVAR? It's All right, he's going to answer you. He's on answer. Yeah, he, he remembers that. He remembers that. Well, no, he remembers it. No, he remembers it. Thank you so much, Mitchell. Yeah, on that content, let's verify what happened. I'm, I'm a sundown. Well, I hope we'll like it. Uh, okay. Yeah, a stone sundown, a stone sundown uh, supporter. Mandla. I still feel very aggrieved about Yo, Veleru Katile, man. I give Veleru, man. Thank you so much, man. They're out in Woodbank. Uh, where are we going now? Uh, we're going to Lisibe. Lisibe is out in the group. Hey, good evening, my Hey, Lisibe. Hey, Lisibe. Can I go see a little today, Lisibe? Talk to me. <laughs> now, I'll be fast because uh, there's so much for me to say. And Please, I'll go for it. Yeah. Um, I thought our guests played well uh, against Sweden, who are the best bridesmaids. They've never been uh, bright before. I hope you understand. Mm. No, we got you. They're like yeah. the Netherlands in men's football. That's true. Um, uh, for me, what frustrated me most, especially when watching the game, I was tweeting, avoid unnecessary corners and the left side and uh, the left back. It needed some help there and there, but uh, we learned from this thing. I hope we, we can go all the way in the last two.
two games and not need calculators because we are good in punching calculators. Mm. Lastly, um, let me give Mr. Somani something, some content as he says. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. The, the, the Zambian goalkeeper, whom is, was number two, um, I thought he played well. Yes, uh, she, um, she played well, rather, sorry. Um, she got yellow carded and then um, later received a, a red card. Was the first yellow card um, as a result of the goal that was not disallowed? Was it supposed to stand or to be cancelled? He answered that. You mm. missed it. He yeah. answered that. Well, I know not content is Lisi, but thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go to Sia. Sia is out in Port Elizabeth. Sia. Uh, good evening, Ma. Ah. Hey. Um, yeah, yeah, Molen, Molen, man, man. No, Molen, man. Molen, uh, doctor. Ma, ma, uh, um, I wanted to speak about three things, but I'll be very, very short. Go uh, for obviously, it. Obviously, I'm not okay with what is happening with Formula One. I'll be, I'll, I'm a Lewis Hamilton fan. But, but what is encouraging is to see McLaren going back to where they were. Obviously, when I started watching Formula One in the 90s, I was a Mika Hekinen fan. Oh, yes, so it's encouraging to see McLaren going back. And it, it, I would love to, for, for a Formula One expert to analyze what did they do right in a space of two or three weeks. Um, and I'm okay with how Ibanyana played. I am, I am very, very okay with how they play. Obviously, I'm not happy with with how we lost, but I'm okay with how we play. And if we play like that and we raise a, a, our, our game up a, a bit, we can beat uh, the Italy and Argentina. Uh, uh, lastly, my, uh, um, I had hope, uh, but I, I have lost that hope when it comes to the Kaiser Chiefs. Why? I know it was the preseason, it was the first game, but I had hope that in the Zobona, a combination play, I had hope that Zobona is style I had hope that Zobona... With the first game, Sia, you're being harsh. Like mm. You don't think you're being harsh, Sia? One game. That, 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 I had, he had three weeks with, with the team. That's so enough. I that Zobona something, but I did not see anything. <laughs> it, it, we, are, we, are still, we are still where we were last season. I did not see anything, my, and I'm being honest. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Faith is going to be coming in in just a few, talking about what she's got on the show. Let's go to Teboho out in Katlehong. Teboho. Go for it, Chief. Go for it. Mm. Uh, that girl was too much, too much, too much, too much. And then we put out the other one. We put out the other one. We put the Yo, your line is not great, man. Your line is not great, man. I'm terribly sorry, Tebza. Your line is not great at all. A school zone, Tebza, man. Thank you so much for the effort, though. Uh, West, you're the last one. Ah, uh, Mr. President, thank you so very much. Eh? Yeah, no, I... Valerut la basha. Let me just get uh, straight to the point. Uh, Please. First of all, I mean, you know, I was that broken about the result that Banyana Banyana got. got. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I'm very proud of the team and the coach as well. I mean, for 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 nearly 70 minutes, uh, managing a team like Sweden, which is ranked mm-hmm. number three, it was brilliant. I mean, you look at the experience of Sopasang on those set pieces, when we were short, you could see the way he was taking the... Uh, uh, the the ladies they making sure that everybody keeps position and I mean I must we must give it to the keeper man we must really give it to the keeper she she played Taylor like Swart. an EPL Andre she played like an EPL goalkeeper I mean she could control the ball with with her feet she could actually pinpoint I mean to save this oh, uh, oh I love it <laughs> we're starting to be so thank you very much Victor has got those answers for you yeah. everybody that asks answers he's taking them to Soccer Zone. The three of us are going to be on TV this evening. Finally, SABC One. We've brought Mazola off the bench. He's <laughs> on the show this evening. Catch the three of us on Soccer Zone this evening as we give you all those answers and a lot more. We're going to have a lot more details on Banyana Banyana as well as we show it all to you visually. Timothy Miranda, once again, our hearts with you and your entire family. From all of us here in studio, uh, Valerie as well. Pella, Pella. And so,